so guys um a few things uh this recording is sky factory episode zero in this recording i am just showing you uh oh wait i don't want that on that screen actually yeah well, in this recording all I'm going to show you is how to get the Sky Factory mod pack. Um, I realised this hadn't, yeah, I hadn't yet made this and I'm now on episode like, episode 7 I think it is. Yeah, say that. Um, but yeah, I think it's time for me to uh, show you this. So, as soon as my computer responds on this window, our Look at it. Okay, so the first place you have to go is the first link in the in the in the description below, which is atlauncher uh, dot com. Which say? Let's grab the page. This is the page uh, www.atlauncher.com dot com, and yeah, this is this is it. This is the uh, home page. Um, okay, that just decided to do that. Uh, fine with me. Um, but yeah, what I uh, just let you guys know, I am making a pack for my next series, so don't worry about that. Um, packs. There's like, Sky Factory is the main one. And then there's loads of others, which Sky Factory is the one I'm playing. Um, and then there's loads of others. Any of you guys want me to play any more packs on any launcher, tell me. I'm just going to go to Sky Factory. Um, calling this pack, blah, 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 blah. Bacon Donut. There's his Twitch right there. He's the one who made it. Um, video streams. Yeah, I don't care about that. This is all the mods involved. All there. Which, uh, to be honest, I don't really care about. This is all the added stuff in the newest update. And, um, yeah. You want to go to downloads, which will be the... Well, no, the first link will be uh, downloads, actually. Sorry. But let me just tell you that. Um, this is just how to tell uh, telling you how to install it on Windows. So if you're on a Windows computer, click on that, find out how to install it. Um, I am on Mac at the moment, so yes, I will show you uh, da -da -da, to download the AT Launcher if you want Windows. If you are running on Mac, you select the Mac OS dot app button. Um, yeah, I have done that. But looking at it now, I can get Linux slash others for the .jar file, which I do prefer. The FTB launcher and the technical launcher is .jar, but I don't mind the AT launcher. It's got the actual logo and stuff on it. And that was the Mac. So you click on that for the Mac, click on that for the Windows, click on that for Linux, or if you just want a jar file, click on that. This is just all the change log for the launcher. Um, but yeah, click on whichever one you want. It will download. Uh, you'll need to. Um, you'll need to sort of like download it if it comes up with any warnings just download it anyway uh so yeah i'll click on that this is going to download really fast so i've got to be careful come on come on quick quick, quick. i've got to cancel this straight away but yeah uh basically this will pop up and it's already downloaded it oh my god but yeah um that's where you want to go first it's just going to open archive utility and it's going to open my downloads so bear with me while i delete that uh, actually no this is good to show you then all you need to do is get this AT launcher, take it out, drop it onto your d uh, desktop if it hasn't already extracted it. Mine extract and puts it in the earlier one for some reason. But yeah, that is it. Um, that's the f launcher. So just open that, which is here. I'm just going to open mine. Give it a second to open because it's just going to sort of like open, find out what to do, and it, all of that. Um, yeah, there's going to be a few links in the description. One was for that. Um, this is just how it loads up. This is the console. Uh, just click allow, otherwise it will shut it. Uh, well, you won't be able to download stuff. It'll just run all this. It'll probably take a bit longer on the first time you open it. Um, this is the homepage. But if you go to packs, Sky Factory is the first one. Uh, click on new instance. Name it whatever you want. Uh, the newest version 1.2 is the one I'm running just for me me what just for me what that means is if you're on a computer and there's multiple users on it it'll just install it on that username and so yeah click that don't click it uh click install um there is already an is okay no uh two let's just call it two install 
and it's just going to start install process. Then on mine, I've just selected all of these, and the this is all the mods that you have to have on the left here. This is all the ones that you have to have. You can go through that and have a look. Um, these mods are extra, but I have them anyway. Um, so yeah, then you just want to hit install, and it will install it and make it a new instance. So if I just hit that, it may take a while, which it will take a while, but uh, it's just going to keep flashing. Um, while we wait for that to download, I can bring over this page. Uh, what's it? When it responds, I can bring this page over. This is the uh, paste bin. This is the file from uh, Bacon Donut for the Sky Factory notes. There will be spoilers in this, so skip to skip ahead if you want. If you don't want to hear any spoilers, I'm just going to tell you a bit about the map. So it's nothing more than you've seen in my that you're going to see in my series. Um, what you got here? Has been installed. Okay, it's already been installed. But um, so yeah, this is list of mods. Uh, this is where you get the pack from that link. Um, I will show you the download link first. In the first link, in the description download link. Second link will be this one. Um, yeah, YouTube Twitch permissions. Uh, yes, you can use this mod to stream. Yes, let's plays. There is no uh, no permission required. But you, yeah, you can put his link in the description if you want. But uh, do do do. Where's the link? His link's there somewhere. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, but uh, the link I'm gonna have to this is gonna be one of these bit.ly, which is from Bacon Donut. Just because when you click on it, it'll take a second longer to load the page, but it'll uh, send him some money every thousand clicks of it. Um, this just tells you how to start and everything. And it gives you wikis and stuff. Uh, a note about biomes. Yeah, don't bother. Uh, this is all the challenges which I will be running through on mine. Tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. But you guys can read through that. That's basically it. Um, if I just get rid of that, don't need that. Uh, this is. Yeah, so basically it launches up. This is all the packs. As I've shown you, it's decided to be a day. Time to actually get my pack. First time you hit play, it's going to take a while to load up and stuff. That's normal. It will take a while. Don't worry about. It. Um. The pace bin. And um, yeah, let's go through this. Let's go through the challenges. A bit. Okay. So I'm copying and pasting all of this to, into a text edit document and then I can tick them off as I go. Tier 1. Build a cobblestone generator. I have done that. Build an automated cobblestone generator. Um, I don't know what he means by automated. If does not mean that automatically create cobblestone or automatically... Um, oh no, no. Ah, yeah I see what he means. Cobblestone generator is the like skylock, that cobblestone generator. Automated will be sort of like mine on its own. Infest the true silkworms, I've done that. Craft a sieve, I've done that as well. Collect rainwater in the neck barrel, I've done that. Build a proper house, I'm doing that next episode. Spoilers, sorry. <laughs> Make an ink farm, no, I have no idea how to do that. Build a second layer below that. I'm not going to say if I've done any for now. Make a slime farm, which is good because you spawn on a slime biome. Let's just check. No, it hasn't loaded yet. Turn pink into power. Over 10 lucky blocks. Build a trophy room, which I will do in the house. Create power from three different fuels. I've already used charcoal to create power. So now you need to use two others, which will probably be a lava bucket and coal. Three different. No, I've used charcoal, wood, and I need one more, which will be lava bucket because it lasts ages. Create power from three different. Yeah, uh, store liquid in container other than a bucket. Store, um, I have done that, I guess, because of the oak barrels. It stored the liquid in it, 
but I'm not sure if he means like being able to hold it. Automated farm with harvest the planter. Um, this takes a while to load up. It normally does that. Take a cookie for a cook jar, cook, uh, cookie jar. That's what it says. Um, from a cookie jar, wearing monocle. Basically, yeah, that's just there's just loads of them here. There's the three tiers, so um, if I just get rid of that. Uh, this is just running for everything. Don't worry about any colours or anything. It's just telling you some stuff. Not really that important in this. Load up. It's just going to load up. And um, once it has, uh, you'll get to the home page. Um, and then you just want to click single player. Create new world, of course. Uh, I don't have a server yet. But I'm, I might look into getting a public server for Sky Factory. But it's more than likely going to be my own mod pack that I get one for at the moment. Unfortunately, sorry about that, but that's how it's gonna gotta go. Um, yeah, all, all the links will be in the description that I've talked about. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a pain. It just takes so long. Okay, guys. Um, annotation is gonna pop up till when I actually get to the start page. So bear with me. And if you don't click that annotation, then bear with. Oh, it's, it's up, it's up. <laughs> well, no annotation needed. Well, I'll probably put one in earlier on anyway. Uh, now uh, you can just quit the console. You don't need that. Then I just enlarge that. Single player. Uh, that's my Sky Factory world that I'm working on now. Uh, create new world. Name it whatever you want. Survival hardcore creative. All the same as normal. Bonus chest cheats if you want I'm just gonna turn cheats on allow structures doesn't really matter too much because you don't get villages or dungeons in the void world world type this is what's gonna change it to the sky factory you have to change that to void world otherwise you'll just land on normal world but yeah void world what's that large range yeah void world bonus chest yeah bonus chest don't do anything if it's on or off turn it on anyway um done create new world I'm just gonna leave this to create and I'll just yeah um, really awesome mod to be honest I've enjoyed it recently I've enjoyed playing it I've enjoyed doing it it's really fun for you go to do with you guys um, yeah three episodes a week hopefully I might have to yeah my schedule that I told on Wednesday or last Wednesday was that will be two Sky Factories a week. But I might do three Sky Factories a week. Depending on how popular it is. Thing is I'm already on episode 7 now. 7 or 8 now. So yeah. But yeah this is a tree that you spawn on. As you can clearly see there's no chest or anything. Let me just turn my render distance up. There's no chest or anything here. Uh, you just spawn on a tree. Um, we just go to game mode 0. Grab some wood. But first thing you want to make, uh, just quick, like startup guide because I didn't show this much on it. Is make a crafting table. Then you want to make a crook. This, this will save your life, crooks. Because basically, you destroy leaves of them. It takes two life off of it per leaf, which I've noticed. Uh, but Come on, don't be a bitch. Yeah, and yeah, it helps you get saplings easier. Um, but I'm just gonna go game mode one. Yeah, it don't really change much if you do or don't. Let's just delete all this and blah blah blah. blah. But of course, there's all the mods in it normally. There's all the extra or stuff and that you get for it. There's even beads in it. Um, and then there's all the extra mods and different things. So yeah, that was just teaching you how to install it. And there's computer craft, which is pretty awesome. Because you can get mine turtle. You can. Uh, what I think I I'll be doing in the future, like it's going to be a while, is setting up a mining turtle with my cobblestone generator. Just so then, just mines that one block and don't mine any further. Then it'll just constantly mine that block, and I'll just get loads of cobble. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. That's how to install it in forever. <laughs> um, all links are in the description, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I have. Um, love playing it. Hope to see some of you guys. Uh, post links in the description if you really want to, or message me some of your links to any s 
series that you make, any videos you make on it. Love to see them. Love to support you guys on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye.